Feeder rated tournaments. When can a tournament be feeder rated and how do you get your first feeder rating? When will a tournament be feeder rated? The feeder laws of chess must be adhered to for a tournament to be feeder rated. If there is a player or players with a feeder rating of 2,400 or more, each of those players needs a minimum of 120 minutes per person to play that round or each of the rounds. If there are players with a rating of 1,800 or more, each player must have a minimum of 90 minutes per person to play that round. That is why our one-day tournaments cannot be rated for the prestige section. Our prestige section starts at 1,800 rating points. This is FIDE ratings that FIDE takes into consideration. And the prestige section will therefore for our one-day events not be FIDE rated. They will, however, be FIDE rated in our two-day events where we play 90 minutes per side. If players have ratings below 1,800, each player must have a minimum of 60 minutes to play per round. Our one-day tournaments are played with a time control of 60-60 or 55-55 plus 5 seconds per increment. And therefore, the one-day tournaments can be federated for the A, B, C and D section. There has to be a minimum of three federated players in a section for that section to be federated. That means if there are only two FIDE rated players in the D section, then that section cannot be FIDE rated for that specific event. Play may not exceed 12 hours per day. Therefore, if we play a one day event, we cannot play more than 12 hours in that day. All five hour rounds must fit within 12 hours. How do I get my first FIDE rating? Lebo, Alex and Maya play in a FIDE rated tournament for the first time. How will they get their first FIDE rating? Lebo played against nine opponents. Out of these nine opponents, three of them had FIDE ratings and six did not have FIDE ratings. She did not score any points against the three FIDE rated players. However, she did score four points against the unrated players. When your first FIDE rating has to be calculated, games against unrated players do not count. They only look at the games that you won or lost against FIDE rated players. She scored a total of 4 out of 9. Against rated players, she scored 0 out of 3. And against unrated players, 4 out of 6. Therefore, she will not be able to start her FIDE rating calculation or earning her FIDE rating. Players must also have a performance rating of at least a thousand for them to earn their first FIDE rating. Alex played against nine opponents as well. In his game, six of his opponents had FIDE ratings and he scored three points out of those six games against FIDE rated players. He played three games against unrated players and he scored one game point against an unrated player. Therefore, Alex now has three out of the five required games where he scored a point against a FIDE rated opponent. A player has 26 consecutive months to earn their first FIDE rating. That means you do not have to earn all five your points in one tournament. You can play tournaments over a consecutive period of 26 months and earn your points for your first FIDE rating. He now needs to score two more points against FIDE rated players in order for him to get his first rating. Maya played against six rated players and she scored five out of six against her, the rated opponents. She played three unrated opponents and there she scored one point. She has a total of six out of nine for her tournament. She scored a point against five rated players 
and therefore she will earn her first FIDE rating if her performance rating exceeded a thousand. So out of all of these players, Lebo, Alex and Maya, Maya will earn her first FIDE rating at the end of the month when the tournament is rated as she has now completed her five games against FIDE rated players.